Creating Photoshop brushes is easier than you think. I'm Jesus Ramirez from the Photoshop Training Channel. In this video, I will teach you everything you need to know about creating custom Photoshop brushes from your photos. Before we start, let's take a quick look at how Photoshop brushes work. When you select a brush in Photoshop, you're essentially choosing an image to use as your brush tip stamp. As you drag across the canvas, Photoshop continuously places copies of this stamp along your path. This rapid replacement creates the illusion of a seamless line. Modifying how each brush tip appears can drastically change the appearance of your stroke. Each instance of a stamp can vary in size, rotation, opacity, and color, allowing you to create unique realistic brush strokes using a single brush tip image. In this video, we'll create a custom Photoshop brush that you could use to simulate fog, smoke, and other atmospheric effects. The first step is to find the image we will use as our Photoshop brush tip. You have several options. Take a photo with your phone, browse Adobe Stock's free image library, or generate one directly in Photoshop. For this tutorial, we'll generate an image using Photoshop's Generate Image feature. To start, create a document that's 1024 by 1024. Then click on this icon in the toolbar to enter the Generate Image window. From here, enter the prompt, fog, overlay on a black background. We want the black background to make the fog easier to mask in the next step. Next, choose photo as the content type to generate a photorealistic image instead of an illustration. Then click generate. Photoshop will now return three variations to choose from. Pick the one you like best. I think this one will work. Most of it is already isolated. We just need to work on the bottom half. Now let's remove the background from the fog. This will be a simple process since the background is black and the fog is white. Press Ctrl Shift 2 on Windows, that's Command Shift 2 on the Mac, to select the brightness in the image, which selects the bright fog but ignores the black background. Now click on the new adjustment layer icon and choose Solid Color. In the color picker, select black and click OK. Now disable the generative layer and you will see the fog render in black against a white background. This step is crucial. When creating brushes, anything white becomes transparent, and anything darker defines the brush's ink. Next, enable the layer mask by clicking on it. Press the B key to activate the brush tool. Make black your foreground color, and paint on the mask to hide any edges or imperfections. Now we can create the Photoshop brush preset by going into Edit and choosing Define Brush Preset. From this window, you'll see a preview of the brush tip on the thumbnail, and you can name it. I'll call it Fog Brush. Then I'll press OK. Since the brush tool was active when I created the brush preset, Photoshop automatically selected it. If another tool is active, enable the brush tool and find the new brush preset from the drop-down in the options bar. The new brush preset is always placed at the bottom of the list. Click on it to enable it. Now, I'll create a new document that is 3000 by 3000 pixels to test the brush. On a new layer, I'll simply paint across the canvas. This definitely doesn't look like fog. Currently, the brush preset is simply the stamp we created placed side by side in a sequence without any variance in size, rotation, or opacity. To make it look more like fog, we will have to make each brush stamp completely different from the one before it in the sequence, so we will have to customize the brush. To do so, Go into Window and choose Brush Settings. This is the area that controls the settings I mentioned earlier. From here, you can modify the appearance of each brush tip instance to create organic and realistic brush strokes. Keep an eye out on the preview window. Any adjustments you make will be represented here. First, go into the brush tip shape and adjust the brush size with this slider. Make it small enough to paint a long line across the canvas, but large enough to see all details. Next, go into Shape Dynamics which allows you to vary the size, angle, and roundness of your brush tip as you paint. Start by increasing the size jitter, which introduces randomness to the size of your brush tip. In the brush settings, jitter refers to the randomness or variation applied to a brush setting. Increase the size jitter to 100% to introduce the maximum amount of randomness to the brush size, which results in brush tips of many different sizes that make the stroke look more natural and less uniform. And if you're enjoying this video, hit like now and subscribe. Now increase the angle jitter to 100%,
to introduce random variation to the rotation, which makes the brush stamp face a different angle with each instance, creating a more natural looking stroke. Next, go into the scatter section, which allows you to introduce randomness to the placement of your brush tip stamps. Start with scatter, which controls how much the brush tip's placement deviates from the stroke's path. The larger the value, the more the brush tip spreads away from the center line of your stroke. 75% will work in this case. Now you can increase the count, which determines the number of brush tip stamps applied at each spacing interval along your stroke. A higher count value places more brush tips with each stamp, making the stroke appear denser or more opaque. We can use a count of two for this brush. Now let's explore the transfer options, which allow you to vary the opacity and flow of your brush. Set both the opacity and flow jitter to 100%. This will allow you to build the fog effect by painting over the same area multiple times, which can help you create the illusion of depth and density. Let's now try our brand new brush on an image. I have a new blank layer over this photo of a couple camping, and I want to create a more interesting image by adding fog. With the brush tool active, I'll hold Alt on Windows, option on the Mac to temporarily activate the eyedropper tool, and I'll click over the sky to sample this light shade of blue. It's now my foreground color, and I can paint the fog directly over the image. This looks very good, but we can enhance this effect by applying one more brush setting. Go into Color Dynamics, which introduces random color variation. This allows each brush tip to change color as you paint. From here, simply check Apply per tip and increase the foreground and background jitter to 100% to create brush tip stamps that randomly vary in color between your foreground and background. We already have a light foreground color alike, so I'll go into the background color picker, click on the foreground, and reduce the brightness of this color to create a darker blue in the background. Now when I paint, you'll see a much more realistic effect. And by only adjusting the brush settings, you can turn this brush preset into a smoke or dust brush. You can download these brushes from the link below as a free gift. And if you made it this far, click like now and subscribe. I'm Jesus Ramirez. Thank you for watching.